Hi, this is Dr. Rudresh. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical Microbiology Guide. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. In my previous lecture, I discussed the dry heat sterilization. In session 3 of sterilization and disinfection, I will be discussing moist heat sterilization. The moist heat sterilization is classified into three types based on the boiling temperature of water. Sterilization below 100 degrees Celsius, sterilization at 100 degrees Celsius, and sterilization above 100 degrees Celsius. Sterilization below 100 degrees Celsius has three processes pasteurization, water bath, and inspiration. Pasteurization and inspiration are frequently asked three must questions. Pasteurization is a process in which the microorganisms are killed from the beverages like fruit or vegetable juices, beer and dairy products. There are two methods available for pasteurization. One is the holders method in which we are going to hold the beverages at 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and another is a flash method in which we are going to heat the beverages to 72 degrees Celsius and retain it for 20 seconds followed by rapid cooling to 13 degrees Celsius. All non-sporing pathogens including mycobacteria, brucella and salmonella are killed except coxella burnetti which survives the holders method. Water bath is used for disinfection of serum or body fluids at 56 degrees Celsius for one hour and also vaccines are sterilized at 60 degrees Celsius for one hour. Inspiration is also called as fractional sterilization. Here we are going to heat the article on three successive days at 80 to 85 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. We use an instrument called inspisator for the process of inspisation. The principle by which the inspisation sterilizes the article is on the first day of heating most of the vegetative bacteria will be killed. On incubation the spores which were there in the medium will get germinated and will be killed in the subsequent heatings. This is used to sterilize egg and serum based media. Now let's see the moist heat at 100 degrees Celsius. Boiling is a simple and most effective method to kill most of the vegetative forms of the bacteria. The disadvantage of boiling is spores cannot be killed. This method of sterilization is suitable for surgical instruments. Steaming is a process which is done in Coach or Arnold steam sterilizer. The Coach and Arnold steam sterilizer is a cylindrical instrument with a lid on the top. It has a porous plate on which the article are kept for sterilization. In the bottom there is a electrical coil and the water will be poured just above the coil. When the water starts boiling, the steam generated will circulate around the load and it condenses to release the latent heat onto the article. The steaming is done for 90 minutes at atmospheric pressure. Most of the vegetative forms will be killed. Steaming is useful for preparation of those media which cannot be autoclaved. Tindalization is a moist heat sterilization at 100 degrees Celsius. This is also a method of fractional sterilization. It is similar to inspiration. It differs only in the temperature at which we heat the article. Inspiration was done at 80 to 85 degrees Celsius whereas tindalization is done at 100 degrees Celsius. Here the articles are kept in the steamer at 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes on three consecutive days. The principle is similar to that of inspiration. On the first day of heating, almost all the vegetative forms will be killed and on the subsequent days, the spores which germinate into vegetative forms will be killed. This method of sterilization is used to sterilize gelatin, egg, serum or sugar containing media. Now let's see the moist heat sterilization above 100 degrees Celsius. Autoclave is an instrument which is used for 
moist heat sterilization above 100 degrees Celsius. Autoclaving is most widely used method of sterilization. It uses the saturated steam under pressure. The steam is non-toxic, inexpensive, rapidly microbicidal, sporicidal and penetrates the fabrics. Because of these properties, steam sterilization is most frequently used compared to the other methods of sterilization. The mechanism of action of moist heat above 100 degree is when the microorganisms are exposed to saturated steam under pressure, they are destroyed by coagulation and irreversible denaturation of enzymes and structural proteins. Four parameters which determines an effective steam sterilization. One is the steam per se, second one is pressure, third is the temperature and fourth is the time. There are three types of steam, wet steam, saturated steam and superated steam. Saturated steam is the ideal steam for sterilization by moist heat. When water boils, it releases unsaturated steam, what is called as a wet steam. This contains water vapor and liquid water droplets. When we heat an unsaturated steam at a constant pressure, it becomes dry saturated steam. This saturated steam has a much higher wall heat transfer coefficient. Hence, the saturated steam is the most effective steam for moist heat sterilization above 100 degrees Celsius. If we continue heating the saturated steam, then it will get converted into superheated steam. Generally, superheated steam is not useful for sterilization. It is used for operating the turbines and steam engines. If we heat 1 ml of water, it produces 1600 ml of steam. If the same 1600 ml of steam at 100 degrees Celsius and at atmospheric pressure condenses into 1 ml of water at 100 degrees Celsius, then it releases 518 calories of heat onto the article. This latent heat which is transferred will heat the article or medium kept inside the autoclave. The reduction of steam into water reduces the volume thereby sucking more steam into the area and the process continues till the temperature of the surface is raised to that of the steam temperature. Pressure is required to increase the temperature to kill the microorganisms. The steam which is generated by boiling will accumulate and it keeps on increasing the pressure inside the chamber. The increasing pressure will increase the boiling temperature of water, in turn the temperature of steam. There are certain standard pressure which has to be achieved to reach the specific temperatures. A desired temperature must be obtained to ensure the microbicidal activity of sterilization. The two common steam sterilization temperatures are 121 degrees Celsius and 132 degrees Celsius. They are achieved by obtaining a pressure of 15 pounds and 20 pounds respectively. The pressure and temperature must be maintained for a minimum period of time to kill the microorganisms. A minimum holding time of 30 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius and at 15 pounds is required to kill the microorganisms using a gravity displacement type of sterilizer or a holding time of 4 minutes at 132 degrees Celsius at 30 pounds of pressure in a pre-vacuum sterilizer is required to kill the microorganisms. The sterilization time vary depending upon the type of the item, whether the item is wrapped or unwrapped or the type of sterilizer we are using. Before moving to the construction, we have to understand what is the D value. 
D value is the time to reduce the surviving population of microorganisms by 90% or 1 log 10. 1 log 10 reduction means there is a reduction of 90% of microbial load. Example in this slope, the reduction of bacterial load from 100 to 10 is taking place at a particular duration. This duration is the D value. The geobacillus stereothermophilus, which is used to monitor the steam sterilization, is having a D value which is ranging from 1 to 2 minutes. That means to say, to reduce the viable spores from 100 to 10, it requires around 1 to 2 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. The heat resistant non spore forming bacteria, yeast, and fungi, they have such a low D 121 degrees Celsius value that they cannot be experimentally measured. We have to calculate a holding time which will reduce 6 log 10 of all the viable organisms. That means to say the load should come down to 10 to the power of minus 6 colony forming unit per ml. There are some predefined holding pressure, temperature and time for effective sterilization. The most commonly employed pressure, temperature and time combination is 15 pounds pressure, 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Under these conditions, most of the microorganisms will be killed. Similarly, we have other combinations like 20 pounds at 126 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, 30 pounds at 133 degrees Celsius for 3 minutes. Now let's see the construction of the autoclave. The autoclave is made from either gunmetal or stainless steel. It has an inner chamber in which the load is kept and a steam jacket which covers the inner chamber. There are two pressure gauzes, one for the steam jacket and other for the inner chamber. The autoclave is secured by a thick stainless steel door which is fastened by screw clamps and washers. There is a wall on the top of the autoclave which controls the steam movement. It has three modes. If we set at first mode, it will accumulate the steam in the jacket. In the second mode, it releases the steam into the chamber. In the third mode, it will help in the release of steam from the chamber to the exterior. There is an electrical panel which has an LED display to show the temperature, the line indicator and the switches to control the autoclave. The steam jacket is connected to a steam generation unit. This steam generation unit is made up of stainless steel fitted with an electrical coil. The unit should be filled with water up to the safety levels. When the electricity is supplied, the coil gets heated and water starts boiling. The boiling water will release the steam which will be collected in the steam jacket. Once the jacket pressure is raised to the desired levels, the load is kept in the autoclave and the door is closed. The valve is opened to release the steam from the jacket to the inside of the chamber. When the pressure inside the chamber has reached to the desired level, we have to note down the temperature. If the temperature and pressure are satisfactory, then we have to calculate the holding time from that point onwards. There are various types of autoclaves. Based on the function, we classify autoclaves into gravity displacement autoclave, high speed pre-vacuum autoclave, steam flush pressure pulsing autoclave and portable steam sterilizers. In gravity displacement autoclave, the steam is released either from the sides or from above. The steam is lighter than air. The lighter steam will force us the air to pass through the drain vent which is situated in the bottom of the chamber. 
If the air is not completely removed from the chamber, then it interferes with the steam in coming contact with the load. The steam inside the gravity displacement autoclave has a less penetration capacity for porous load. Hence, we can only sterilize the non-porous load in gravity displacement autoclave. For sterilizing the porous load, we have to use high-speed pre-vacuum sterilizer. This is similar to gravity displacement sterilizer except that it is fitted with a vacuum pump. The vacuum will suck all the air which is present in the porous load and helps in the instantaneous penetration of steam. The typical temperature at which the high-speed pre-vacuum sterilizer works is around 132 to 134 degrees Celsius at 30 pascals for 3 to 4 minutes. In steam flush pressure pulsing autoclave, the air is removed rapidly by repeated alternating steam flush and pressure pulses. The air removal with this method is almost as efficient as pre-vacuum sterilizer. Portable or tabletop sterilizers are used for sterilizing small instruments like hypodermic syringes, needles and dental instruments. They are used in outpatient departments, dental clinics and rural clinics. Based on the place and purpose, we classify autoclaves into laboratory autoclaves, hospital dressing sterilizers, bowel and instrument sterilizers, rapid cooling sterilizers. Based on the construction, it can be a tabletop autoclave, vertical autoclave, horizontal autoclave or an industrial autoclave. The steam sterilization should be used whenever possible for all critical and semi-critical items that are heat and moisture resistant. The gravity displacement autoclaves are primarily used to process laboratory media, water, pharmaceutical products, biohazardous waste, unwrapped goods, non-porous articles whose surface has direct contact with the steam. Whereas high-speed pre-vacuum sterilizers are used for sterilization of large or porous items such as animal cages and beddings, wrapped surgical kits that can trap the air, media solutions in appropriate containers such as tissue culture flask with loose caps. Pipette tips and other high density polyethylene products such as syringes are sterilized by this type of autoclaves. The precautions to be taken while handling the autoclave are do not overfill the chamber. The sharp surgical instrument should not be autoclaved as the edges of the instrument will be corroded by the steam. Heat sensitive materials should be used with caution. Oil, grease and dry materials should not be autoclaved. The sterilization control for steam sterilization has three types. Mechanical controls, chemical controls and biological controls. Mechanical control includes an electrical device which measures the temperature, time and pressure and prints it on a sheet for future references. Chemical indicators like Brown's tube or the autoclave tapes are affixed to the outside or inside of the pack to monitor the efficacy of autoclave. For high speed pre-vacuum sterilizer, Bowie Dick type of sheets are used. These sheets should be kept in the center of the load as well as on the top, back side, front and lower portion of the load. The sterilization is acceptable if the sheet shows a uniform color change. If there is an entrapped air inside, then it causes a spot on the test sheet because of the inability of the steam to reach the chemical indicator properly. The biological indicators which contain the spores of Geobacillus stereothermophilus which was formerly called as Bacillus stereothermophilus is used to monitor the effectiveness of the steam sterilization. This finishes the moist heat sterilization. I will continue with the other physical methods of sterilization in the session 4 of the class. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos.